Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Piesco. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. We're working to learn more information after a child fell nine stories from a Flint apartment building. The Genesee County Sheriff says it happened Friday at Reichert Manor on Court near Avon. We've reached out to Flint Police to find out more details and the extent of that child's injuries. Stay with TV5 for more updates. An appeal denied in a fight over restoring the lakes drained by the 2020 dam failures. The Huron Cove Association was fighting special assessments aimed at paying for dam repairs in Midland and Gladwin counties. But Midland Circuit Court Judge Michael Beal ruled the association could not prove the burden to pay and could not disprove the Four Lakes Task Force's method in coming up with the assessments. The president of the Four Lakes Task Force, which is overseeing dam restoration, says it's pleased with the ruling, but adds there are still two lawsuits that need to be addressed. We have some bad news for ticket holders for the Bay City Music Festival. Tonight's performances have been canceled due to weather and the chance of thunderstorms. The festival did have a good start last night, though. Concert goers did get to enjoy the first shows despite the weather and several lineup changes. When headliners Florida, Nelly, and Travis Tripp backed out of their performances. Tickets for Saturday's shows will be refunded. The artists hope to get back to Bay City very soon. Ticket holders should expect emails later this week. Now let's turn to TV5's Kyle Gillette for a look at your forecast. Thank you, Lauren. We are tracking another chance for those showers and storms as we go into this afternoon and evening. And of course, we've got a lot going on across mid-Michigan today, so this will cause some issues, but only for about half of the area will we, will we be seeing those chances during the actual daytime. We've got chances for all of mid-Michigan later tonight, but uh, the daytime chances are only for about half of the area. It's going to be split by M46, so if you are near and south of M46, we're going to be looking at drier conditions throughout the day. We could be still hot and humid, unless much like the past uh, you know, week here, but we're not going to be necessarily looking at all day chances for rain. If you are north of M46, this includes the tip of the thumb, of course, this includes most of the Bay Area, the Tri-Cities, also north of the Bay. This is where we have better rain chances, and it's not going to be that it's going to be raining all day long. It's just going to be that the chance exists all day long because we'll be off and on in those rain chances. And that said, the heaviest rain is likely going to still fall only north of the Bay. That's the best chance of kind of exceeding some of those higher totals uh, around two to possibly three inches. Now, here's how this shapes up for us. This is uh, starting out us here at noon. You can see some heavier downpours, some lightning here, uh, tip of the thumb, uh, likely to see some of those heavier storms potentially later on. Uh, also near the Saginaw Bay, this potentially includes the Tri-Cities as we go to this afternoon. Again, still to the south, not a lot happening here, still on the drier side of things. And then as we transition into the evening, we still have a few uh, passing showers and storms. I think the activity generally becomes a little bit weaker as we go into the evening here and it becomes a little bit more scattered. You'll also notice that we start to see a drying trend for a majority of mid Michigan. Maybe still some rain in our northern counties up here, but generally drier for a brief time. This is around 8, 9 and 10 o'clock before a front finally swings through, picks up this rain, brings it down through parts of mid Michigan. This is 1 a.m. here and this here is going to be 4 a.m. when we finally see that front swing all the way through and some nicer weather is going to be on the way uh, for your Sunday. Here's a look at that uh, uh, forecast for us again today. We've got the scattered showers and storms heavy rainfall for northern parts of mid Michigan. Severe weather also possible as we go into your Sunday. We will be looking at drier conditions overall. Still some chances for isolated showers, but generally drier and also cooler with less humidity. Monday looking nice. Tuesday, Wednesday still warm with rain chances. Thursday, Friday cooling back down again with a chance for some sunshine. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.